Can we call that time now? Are you done? Oh, come on. Please tell me you're done. We've been at this for, what, two and a half hours? Ugh. Listen, I'm happy to go round for round until the end of time. We've established this, clearly, but... God, aren't you hungry at this point? I'm exhausted. <laughs> Listen, look, love that option. Truly, I mean, inventive, really. But, uh, counteroffer, you can just put the handcuffs on right now, we can call it a draw, and then I can take you to prison. Uh, or you can just... Point another laser gun at me, I guess. God, where are you even keeping those? Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> okay, that came a little too close for comfort. Um, uh, yeah, quick critique, a uh, humble request. Maybe not aiming directly for the face. What? <laughs> okay. Wait, what do you mean okay? What, no poorly concealed threats? No witty banter? No, well, with a head as big as yours, it's too big of a target not to shoot at. I mean, come on, nothing, nothing like that. Oh, God. Oh, oh, jeez, okay, and you're just gonna... Okay, and a good little squeeze, and there. All right, no more of that. Thank you very much. Well, unless you've got any more hidden pockets somewhere, I'd say that's the very last of your gadgets. I hope. Uh, nothing. I was just saying, let's just wrap this up smoothly, shall we? So we can get you onto custody, and then I can just wait a handful of weeks and we can do this all over again. Uh. <laughs> uh, not entirely sure what's so funny. Mm? Really? I don't know. I would say winning is a very strong word to use in your case specifically. Namely, you're out of gadgets, your black eye is bigger than my black eye, and if my timing is right, we've been away from the bank for quite a long time. I mean, enough time for them to recover all the money you stole, put it back in the vault, and start repairing the vault. I mean, we have been fighting for several hours. So you're not really getting anything out of this that would be considered a winning strategy. <laughs> gotcha. All right. I'm not sure if you meant for that to be playful or reassuring. It just came off as very ominous. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm expecting that to be kind of your shtick at this point, but... Uh... Oh god, are you doing the whole bombs routine again? I'm really tired of that. <sighs> no, I'm not actually tired. I was just saying all that as a, a joke. Believe me, if you've got any other tricks up your sleeve, I am more than ready to handle them. Just get on with them. Come again? No, no, uh, if you could just repeat that, that, that second bit. No, no. Th that, yeah, yeah, vacation? Mm, uh, huh. See, the thing about that is I would love to take a vacation. Genuinely, a nice trip to Tahiti would be, mwah, uh, one caveat to that is you make it really difficult to take a vacation, so I'm not really sure where you're coming from with all that. Huh. 
Uh, interesting strategy. Truly. Uh, but uh, Spandex, I don't know if you know this, you are not the only villain that I gotta deal with. Oh, oh no, no, no. You are my favorite villain, don't get me wrong. I promise, pinky swear. Uh, but there's a lot of other stuff that's also been driving me a little insane. So I'm not sure how you think this is helping. Or why you'd want to help. Oh, really? Little old me? Aww. You know, if I didn't have the mask on, you'd see me blushing. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that sarcasm and inappropriate jokes is how I cope with the crushing weight of the world's problems. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm... <clears throat> Why do you keep saying that? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm... I'm getting really tired of this conversation going back and forth and going absolutely nowhere. Oh, shut up. Oh! Oh, now you want to chat. Isn't that interesting? Well, you could have started this conversation, what, 118 minutes ago? Oh, you did it again, didn't you? Oh, shit. Well, you're right. We're, uh, all alone. City's long past us, which, I mean, technically is great for my injury to civilian stats, but, uh... Wait a minute, did you actually have an entire bank heist planned just to get me out here and alone with you? Oh my god, you couldn't have just sent an email? And I have a phone, you know? I mean, it would go against several of the safety restrictions that the government has set up, but you know what? At this point, to spare all of this nonsense, I'm willing to try it. What the? Oh, hey, hey. My thick skull has nothing to do with this. This is a weird way to ask me out to conversation. You shot a car at my face. After sending me through two brick walls! Oh, well, forgive me for thinking that was your way of asking for a little chat. <sighs> well, come on, let's chat. I guess. What was so important that you needed to have an entire bank heist just to get my attention? <sighs> oh. Huh. Well, I'm really glad to see that all those encrypted memos are working out. How did you find out about that? Well, I don't know. Could you give me a hint? Do you have a mole in the government? Or do you have some really advanced encryption cracking software? Something to give me a leg up. You chucked a Denali SUV at me. I think I've earned it. <sighs> All right, fine. Don't tell me. <sighs> yes. I will be escorting the governor and the ambassadors to the exhibition at RevTech Industries. <laughs> you know, I'm getting really tired of you constantly calling me an idiot every time I do my job. <sighs> and what's that supposed to mean? I, I haven't lost any glint in my eye. It's not even a thing. It's just the lighting in the area. No, I actually am very happy to do it, as it is my job to protect people. Okay, that... Would you just... That is... It's not the governor I'm protecting. <sighs> 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 
you were right. Oh my god. You were right. About everything. I had some people look into it, and I know exactly what they're doing at RevTech. I know exactly what the governor is planning, and I know exactly who those ambassadors actually are. The entire conspiracy theory that you were spouting off last year, it, it's all true. Every bit of it, and I have been trying so hard not to let you know that I know that you are right, because now I know I'm never going to live it down. You are never going to let me live it down, and... <sighs> What do you mean? <laughs> I can't do that. Because I can't. <laughs> okay, maybe you can do that. Maybe you can just abandon your position and go off and do whatever you want the second things get difficult. I don't have that luxury. <sighs> no. I'm not trying to protect the government's secrets. You think that hasn't been weighing on me ever since I found out about it? Having to smile and wave to crowds of people, knowing what I know and knowing exactly what the governor really thinks of me. What they actually made me for. <laughs> what, no gloating? No... I told you so, there's no circling me like a vulture now that you know that I know the truth and I'm still playing as their little puppet. Come on, admit it, you want to do it a little bit. <sighs> no, 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 I'm not... I'm not running away from this. No, that, that doesn't matter. Because I can do more good if I am close to them at all times than if they knew what I know. They do God knows what. Hurt people that I care about or... <sighs> if I know what they're planning, while well, they still think that I'm in the dark, I can do more good for the people who deserve protecting. It's not just about me. That's easy for you to say. You don't care about anyone but yourself. What? No. Don't. Don't do that. You're doing that thing where you say these off-handed comments that just get in my head and make me question things and I have had enough things in my life turned upside down. You... No, you don't. You don't, and I can accept that you don't, and still thank you for what you did, getting me the information that I needed to make sure that the people I care about are protected. You... What are you asking me right now? I... Synchro, there are... There are too many people depending on me. I can't just run away. <sighs> well, I guess that's the difference between you and me then, isn't it? I'm going to RevTech. And I'll protect anyone there that I can that needs to be protected. What, are you going to do it? That's what I thought. Thank you for warning me. You didn't have to, but... A lot of good, innocent people have been saved because you did. And I'm always going to remember that. Wait, before you go, can you promise me one thing? 
Promise me that I'm not going to see you at RevTech that day. Let me see your hands. <laughs> yes, let me see your hands. I don't trust you not to cross them. Promise me. <sighs> Thank you. Was that so hard? <laughs> and, hey, listen, maybe when this is all over, you can actually ask me to a regular catch-up conversation that doesn't involve adding anything to your criminal record. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Goodbye, Synchro. And thank you. We interrupt your regular programming to bring you this breaking news. The situation at RevTech headquarters continues to escalate as fires rage out of control, threatening the safety of surrounding areas. The blaze, which began earlier today, has now engulfed multiple floors in the building, despite ongoing efforts by emergency services to contain it. You're just going to stare at me? You're going to let me in? <laughs> I... I didn't know where else to go. My home was compromised. And the office headquarters is completely swarmed. Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I had a building land on top of me. What's your excuse? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, if I could just sit on a couch or... Screw it, I'll take a bathtub at this point. <sighs> yeah, it was exactly like we expected. They turned on me a little earlier than I thought they would, but, <sighs> hang on, it, it's in my, it's in my pocket. <sighs> I got it. The mezzanite, they, <sighs> they were really close to using it, but I got it. And I got everyone out. I got everyone out before the building collapsed. They're all safe. It just turns out they didn't want me to make it out and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Serves me right for being a goody two-shoes. <laughs> yeah, my, my side's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't... I don't really want to look at it. I... Were there always three of you? Ooh, you gotta stop moving around. I'm... I'm getting... I'm getting really... D dizzy. You said you 
you cared, so I, th I thought you would, would be sa safe. I, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. In a shocking turn of events, we have just received unconfirmed reports that the superhero known as Decentra is presumed to be killed in action. Decentra was last seen entering the building's epicenter, where the flames were the most intense. Although authorities have not been able to confirm this status, we will keep you updated with any further news as we receive it. My name is Corinthia Winters, and this has been your local news.